and lots of experience on the Chinese side of the net. Japan are going to have their work cut out today. Japan in the red then on the right of your shot, serving in this pool nine match. Well, straight away, oh, the crowd are up for this one, Simon. They're in there, boy. They're excited at the introduction of the players. And it's going to be a very good match indeed. And all of a sudden, we're back down the other end with the China in yellow. Ball control, the essence of Japan playing good volleyball. But as soon as this Chinese block spots where the ball is going to go, then they can put up a huge wall. And that's a really good shutdown from Zhang early doors, the 23-year-old who plays for the Jiangsu province. No. Well, there's a saying in volleyball, you can't win the point from the floor, so you've just got to get it back in play. Uh, just trying a bit too hard there. So, Japan get on the scoreboard. Kurogo with the serve. Good work. China, just like Japan, will try and open a channel down the middle, so they'll run a quick ball through those middle attackers, the middle blockers, and just try and cause some disruption for their opponents. Not the cleanest of contacts from Yuan, but she's got it away. And that's the value of having height on court. Two metres and one, just about six feet seven tall, Yuan. And with all the experience in the world, beautiful timing on the block. A solid start from the home team. Gong to serve. Nabea with a wonderful spinning shot cross court, but they've missed it. Opportunity for Japan to challenge, but they're not going to. The distinctive eyewear of Nabea. But just getting that one wrong, so 5 1. Good leave. But already, Catherine, you can see the difference between the ball control of China and Japan versus Italy and the Netherlands, the first game of the day. Both teams have this under control. Great shot. Phenomenal set from Gong, the opposite player. Got it nice and wide for the kill. Jang more than happy to oblige. Flying out the blocks here, from the Chinese. Zhang on the serve, 6-2. Diving defense from Wang Menji, but enough on the ball to take it out of play. Japan trying to settle down in this match. running for the serve, the distinctive eyewear and technique used on the serve for Japan. Brilliant from Koga. A couple of players out there in the Japanese lineup that really do punch above their weight at the net. Nabea is one of them. And, uh, Koroga, really impressive as well through the wing. Tori Arrows play. They've got wonderful names in the Japanese V-League. JT Marvelous, the Tori Arrows, Denso Airy Bees, Hisamitsu Springs. It just goes on and on. I love it. And that is superb. First slide D attack we've seen from China. And Yuan, along with her setter Ding, playing together for years now. It's almost telepathic on that reverse ball. So China in a hurry at the start of this first set. Koga again with the kill. That'll be 
be required of the two wing spikers for Japan today. They must kill the ball when the opportunities come. China have the lead. Fast and furious from the Chinese team, Simon. Well, when she went over to the States to play, in the university system and then carried on as a coach. Lang Ping adopted a, a Western name, so she was known as Jenny Lang Ping when she was playing in the USA. And still known by a lot of people across the world by a particular name. But she's a coach that lets the senior players talk. She understands the value of having the elite players share their opinion. Well, sign of a good coach. Athletes have to know what they're doing. Take charge on court. So sometimes less is more from the coaching point of view. Lang Ping, of course, the only player to win gold as a player and a coach. That fact alone, Simon, cements her in legendary status in the volleyball world. Yeah, pretty special achievement from Lang Ping. Karch Kirai now trying to do it with the US women's team at Tokyo next time around. Well, both teams working really hard. An extended rally. Kudigao with the serve. Very impressed with her. Got to see her play in uh, Montreux in Switzerland just a few weeks ago. First time I'd seen her in action. And, uh, she's a superb athlete, Kudigao. But I'm not sure that when China have the ball under control like that, they can contain the big players. Yan Ni, the middle player, 32 years of age now, plays for the Liaoning province. With a superb attack down the centre of the court. Zhu for China. Brilliant. Kuroga supplying the firepower for Japan. And that's what they can do when they have control of the ball, when they get that ball into the setter, and they'll run fast options in all the attacking zones. Makes it really tricky for the block to get stable. Good serve as well to follow up. And the setter, Nanami Seiki, just 19 years of age, but we're seeing a lot of really good teenagers coming through on the VNL this year. And Seiki, certainly one of them, plays for the Torrey Arrows Club. So for Japan to draw it level. Not to be on that point. Yeah, Gong Zindyu, just one meter 86 tall, I say just. So uh, still around the six foot mark. But in comparison to Yuan and Zhu and Yan, it's relatively small. Good rescue from Japan, but not this time. Plenty of quality still on the bench for this Chinese team. Fully expect to see number 12, Li Ying Ying, at some point this week. VNL's top scorer for China last year. When you watch the Japanese warm up, and you can see why they compete in matches at this level. The you mentioned it, the precision, the accuracy, the consistency of everything they do, they then bring onto court. And the only thing that isn't really working at the moment is the serve. They have one ace, yes, but a couple of errors as well. It just doesn't allow you to get rhythm as a team. So China on the serve, three point advantage in this first set. 
Well, the overpass dispatched. Little blockers wait at the net for this to happen. If the serve just goes too hard and too fast, the passers will sometimes play it back over the net, and that's what Yuan was waiting to tidy up. to the net, points Japan, so just losing her balance. Gratefully received by the Japanese team, so four down, back to three down. Japan on the serve. Well, these serve errors just can't keep happening, and the latest uh, to serve out of court, captain Iwasaka. Nabea just getting the arms ready for the pass. Knew she was going to be the target. So when it stood herself quite close to that sideline, drew the serve error. Arm jump. A hit. That was a cracker and on a slide D as well from Yuan. Ding just putting that ball on a plate. And the big middle blocker giving that everything. Three meters and 17 is the contact point for Yuan. So she touches around about 17 to 20 centimeters higher than a basketball ring. It's a long, long way in the air. And a good follow up serve from China. It's all going to plan at the moment for the home team. Well, they didn't drop a set in week number two against Thailand, Belgium or Korea. They're looking to work through this match here with Japan as quickly as possible, the Chinese team. And so far, so good. So the crowd are enjoying this one. Some good stuff so far from Zhang, the number nine for China in particular. Yeah, really solid performances across the board. Zhang, four points already. Not the highest scorer for China. Yuan has got six at the moment. But this is what you need from your wing players. Good, consistent attacking options, but also to provide a bit of height at the net to shut down your opposition attackers. And Zhang providing exactly that for this Chinese team at the moment. And remember, both teams with good options on the bench, so it's one of those cases that if you don't deliver, you will be substituted in a match like this. Paul for Jan, she keeps scoring. And it's worth remembering the connotations, of course, going on in the VNL. At the start of week three, China in sixth position, automatically qualified, of course, for the final in July as host nations, but Japan was seventh with those four wins. So could desperately do with the points here to elevate themselves up into the top six position or top five, of course, with China going automatically. Oh, the power, the speed, the accuracy cannot be stopped. That's what Ju Ting brings to this team. And that's why she's the captain, leads by example, still only young, 24 years of age. So might have another couple of Olympic cycles left. Well, that's encouraging. Up and over the top of the Japanese block. Good lineup now for China with their setter, Ding, back court. Good work from Japan. No, block just too well organized. Yan Ni knew exactly where that ball was going, so was able to get out and close alongside Gong. And a monster block reaching right over the net. Wonderful example of how just a couple of players just seem to cover the whole length of a net. You just feel that China have always got it covered at the net. Yeah, it's great organisation from them, putting the pressure on. And the card, I think, is feeling it here. Timeout called. But Japan 
have been there and done it so many times in matches like this. It's not unusual at all for Japan to go two sets to love down on the world stage and then battle back and win 3-2. So expect to see Japan making things difficult for China deep, deep into this match. China, though, if they keep playing like this, Japan are going to struggle today. Nicely done. Variation on the attack, so just running the wing spiker down that pipe option. And that's where the player that is in six in the backcourt, position six in the middle of the backcourt, runs straight down the middle and gets a ball that's popped up just over the three-meter line. Called the pipe attack, and it's very effective in the women's game these days. Good serve. Futagawa. Impressive middle player, but decent serve there as well. Just getting that to slant away from the passer. You can get these balls to move in the air. If you hit them right, they will start to drift and move and dip. Good dig from the Bayer. But Kuroko forced to just dump that over. Free ball, China. Oh, wow. That is huge. What a run from Yan Ni through the middle. Well, if it's not one, it's another. Absolutely no chance of stopping that one. And China extend their lead, 19-14. Good response from Japan. Japanese captain, Nana Iwasaka, with the slide D. Just checking with uh, Wang Menji that she's OK. Two free nets in a row. You don't see that often at this level. The setters putting it on a plate for their attackers. This is a great phase in this match. Business end. China showing no signs at all of relenting. Set one going their way. Another good kill from Gong. So five points away from a first set win, the Chinese team. The Japanese desperate to get through that solid wall defense of China. It's still in play. Libero sets it up. Maybe this time. <laughs> That's insane. What a play again. You don't often see this amount of uh, middle ball being run in front of the setter in women's volleyball. There's a lot of slide D plays, but that's another B quick. And what the Chinese middle players do is they run to the space on the net. They run to where they think the block won't be and ask the setter to find them. And it's working pretty well. Miss hit from Gong. But up until that point, another rally, another really wonderful rally developing. No real damage done, though, for China. And that's a perfect example of Japan trying to break this Chinese service reception down. So that ball didn't go to the setter. That meant the options were restricted. Japan could set up a really good block at the net and a decent bit of defence. So, some options here for a challenge, and they've decided to go with a challenge on ball in or out. And Hawkeye says no, but I can tell you that that wasn't really to do with the challenge. That was to do with Lang Ping just being a bit canny there, deciding to use it to slow the game up. Knew that the server was in a bit of decent form here. So just giving I Kuroga something to think about. Decent serve again. And the tactic didn't work. Ace from Kuroga. Well, she's flying high on points for the Japanese team at the moment. Four points for an attack. And Japan are clawing this one back. China are kind of walking away with this mid-first set. But on the Japanese serve, just three down. Oh, dear me. Well, 
The Chinese set are getting away with one there because that was definitely a handling fault, but it's not a problem because Japan still won the point. And now Lang Ping has to call a genuine timeout. What a comeback from Japan. Tenacious of the Japanese. It's the flying high in the VNL. Looking to hang in this match here with China. Well, Lang Ping's concern, quite rightly, is for the service reception. Well, that's just broken down on Kuroga's serve. So she's tried a challenge, she's tried a timeout. Has Lang Ping managed to get into Kuroga's head yet? China just need a good pass here. Better. Oh, and that's what you do with it, but it's still in play. Unbelievable defence from Japan. That is just brilliant. Point of the week so far. And Meiko Kabata, I'm not sure how much she knew about this pickup, but it looks like it's come square off her foot. And they play on. And for good measure, sets a beautiful ball out wide for the kill on Koga. Good defence again. Oh, unbelievable. Well, couldn't stop that one. Two superb pieces of defensive work from the Japanese libero, but China finally get the point they were after, and that was getting a bit too close for comfort there for the home team. 89.8 miles an hour, uh, kilometres per hour, sorry, that ball's been hit at. And that is a fraction of a second for the defender to react. That's incredible. Good swing. Really good comeback from Japan. Koga through the wing. Keeps it to just a single point. Substitution, out comes Iwasaka, the captain. And in comes Yuki Ishii. This is all about Yuki Ishii's ability as a server, but also more mobile in defence than the middle blocker Iwasaka. Japan still need a point off their own serve to compete in this first set. It's not going to be that one. That is a monster hit. What a shot from Ju. And the Chinese captain has unloaded on that spike. Not the pipe attack from the back line, but you wouldn't know it. And another free net. 97.2 kilometers per hour. Great pass. Ah, oh, superb attack. Japan causing all sorts of problems for this Chinese block at the moment. Another firm hit cross court. And now you can see why Zhu Ting is the star of this team. Yeah, the white-shirted Libero of Japan was not going to stop that one. Get a sense that China aren't like being pushed here. Going to step up, deliver, set point. Every time. Each team responding. Koga this time with the attack, but as I said, Japan still have to score a point off their own serve if they want to survive in this set. And it's got to happen now. 24-23. Japan serve. Brilliant. Unbelievable from Japan. And a net touch, or no, ball onto the antenna. So that's out. Japan's point, and there it was, the one they needed on their serve. But I have to say, it's all down to Meiko Kabata, the JT Marvellous Libero has been everywhere. The Libero's wearing that different coloured shirt introduced into the game back in 2000. Brilliant rule change by the FIVB. 
and it just allows defensive-minded, slightly shorter players to have a role in the game. And Kabata there with a couple of the best pickups we've seen this year. So 24 apiece from China being in relative control of this first set. A reminder if you New to us in the world of netball. It's the best of five sets, 25 points in each set for the first four. With us here on the VNL, new to volleyball like myself. But remember, you have to be winning a set by two clear points. So 24 apiece. Japan on the serve. Good work, got it into transition, Japan. And it's out. <laughs> Kuroga with a firm spike off the block. What a turnaround. Well, I told you, Japan were not going to give this to China easily. They will keep fighting, and they found that ball control just when they need it, despite the best efforts of the Chinese defenders. Set point, Japan. China in trouble. And the captain goes off pace. Clever little change up there from Juting. Words from the sideline. Zhu Ting from the coach. 25 apiece again. China on the serve. Brilliant. Oh, amazing! Kabata is on fire! And again! Oh, and a oh. mega rally! China win it! But Japan played their part, and in particular, Kabata again. Best set of volleyball we've seen from a libero so far on the VNL this year. Well, she's down. She's up. Kabata. Absolutely immense so far in just the first set. This, remember, the China versus Japan, and a mega rally in deep. Look at her on the right, down and up. Eyes everywhere. Incredible read on the game, and a couple of amazing pickups before finally Gong forces it out off the block. Third set point to China, Ding with the serve, so three tall blockers in the front line for China. Good touch. And the captain, fantastic, does it again. And boy, did China need Zhu Ting at the end of that set, and she knows it. Well, cometh the hour, cometh Zhu Ting for the Chinese team. They were made to work for that first set. Wonderful defensive play from Japan. But Zhu Ting gets the first set. Victory for China, 27-25. And if the next couple of sets, Simon Golding, are anything to go by, we're in for an absolute treat as we look back on some of the highlights of the first set. Yeah, it certainly whetted the appetite and Japan finally just getting a way to move into the game and cause problems for the Chinese blockers. And then China had to respond themselves and Zhu Ting it was that brought it home. The captain, fantastic again.
wow. Well, that was just the first set, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are watching. And here are some statistics to back that fantastic first setup. Yeah, China just doing it when they needed to do it. So got some really important blocks early in the set. That got them a bit of a lead. But it was those two attacks from Zhu Ting under severe pressure towards the back end that got them across the line. Well, Zhu Ting showing why she's regarded as the best of her time. The MVP at the 2016 Rio Olympics course when China won that gold medal. Sealing up that first set for the Chinese team. Some of the former stars of, as well as the uh, international setup here in China watching on from the crowd. I'm sure they'll be enjoying the current crop of athletes out there. And Zhu Ting, I promise you, is the equivalent of Lang Ping in this Chinese team. She really is that good. So, more of the same, please. Second set here, China versus Japan. Disappointing from Nabea, but you can see how she plays the volleyball, gets up into the air, has a lovely hold before she swings on the ball, but just can't seem to sort the radar out at the moment. We do have Yuki Ishii on the bench as an option, one of our feature players from earlier. Osanai as well can come and play opposite if she needs. Again, pressure from China, just enough to get the job done. Two points up straight away. Great shutdown. And this is a good rotation for China. This is the rotation they actually finished on in the last set. So the three tall players in the front line with Ding, the setter, back at the service line. He's not as tall a blocker as those players that are currently operating at the net. So Ding on the serve. Great touch. Wang Menji won't want to be outclassed by Kabata in the different coloured shirt today. That's phenomenal. Super spike from Zhu. Touches at 327 in the air. And that's what allows her to open up those angles. That's another terrific hit. Such a character as well within this team. She really is. And the Chinese fans love their captain. So Kumi Nakada with words of encouragement for her Japanese side. Disappointing on the international stage recently. Desperately disappointed to miss out on the VNL finals last year in Japan. And Osaka talking about how much they've learnt from last year's VNL experience, talking about being tall, tough and strong. That's what they need to be to challenge, is what Iwasaka said. And that's what they're going to have to be today to get past this Chinese team. The problem is, you know, I don't understand completely what, what Iwasaka was saying, but the problem is you can't teach at all. You are or not, and, and they just don't have that one big offensive player that China have. Brilliant. Just read that so easily. Locked form nice and early on the Japanese captain Iwasaka closed nicely by Gong, coming in off her wing to help out the middle blocker, Yan. So Ding serves again. Oh, more wonderful work by Lilibero. Finally, Nabea gets one away. First person she needs to go over and thank is Kabata, as you said, for that marvellous piece of work off the block. That's better. That's more like it. Players will hit various areas on the ball to spin it one way or the other. They don't just hit straight through the back of the ball. Brilliant. Another good dig. Phenomenal volleyball. 
Saiki. Wide and a clever shot from Serena Koga. And the NEC Red Rockets wing spiker there spotted that there was a gap on the line and just went off pace to it. Super shot from the number two. Touch the floor, despite the best efforts of Nabea. Zhu Ting on the serve for China before the first technical timeout. Oh, good blocking by the Chinese team. Oh, wonderful. That's just brilliant. So Ding racing into the net, didn't have many options there, and squared her shoulders up and totally and utterly conned the blockers there. Beautiful feed to Zhu Ting. Once again on the pipe from the backcourt. Kabata beaten. Haven't said that much today. Yeah, one of the rare times. That she's been beaten so the first technical timeout china leading 8-2 looking good for it as well is lang ping side unfortunately i think japan playing so well at the back end of set one catherine has simply woken china up and so it was a bit of an alarm call they've responded and they've come out firing on all cylinders at the start of the first set two Zooting, eager to get back on court. Told just wait one minute. There we go. Both the teams now going back on. Koga in that number two shirt for Japan. Nine points now, nine on the attack. Zooting to serve for China. See it from that side on camera, but some subtle variation there from uh, the setter Nanami Seika for Japan. So, not running Koga too wide, actually bringing her in just a little bit off the wing. Gave her a different angle to look at. Oh, Iwasaka serves. Good ace from the Japanese captain. Hasn't done much in the game so far. Nana Iwasaka, so needs to lead by example. Beautiful technique from Nabea. Just hops into the air. But the finish on the ball just caps right across the top of the ball. And that allows her to apply the top spin. It's straight down. But the error follows from Urasaka, but encouraging for Japan. A little bit of a comeback. And that has been the one issue for this Chinese team, their service reception has just been a little shaky at times. Japan have capitalised on that. Beautiful pass. Well, Seiki knows that the number 11, Nabea, is hot at the moment, so she's going to keep feeding her the ball. The great kill from Nabea. Takes another four points so far for the match. Koga, the leading scorer for Japan. Ten attacks from her. Oh. Clever. Clever. Sneaky. <laughs> Clever. Nabea reading the game wonderfully well. Putting it into a position for Seki to pick up a point for the Japanese. And it's on their serve as well. And that's some firepower on it from Zhang. Brilliant again from Kabata. All out defense with Seki. Oh. And again. 
<laughs> oh, no. That's so unlucky. That's the only real bit of lottery you get in the game when the ball pings off the defender's arms. You're not quite sure where it's going to go. Unfortunately for Japan, just went straight in front of the attacker. But how about this for extreme defence? Pancake D from Seiki and Kabata to keep it alive. Well, I'm starting to see a real pattern develop now in this game. Now, I think we see a challenge here from China. That was close enough to the line to have a look. So an in or out call here. But yeah, we're getting a real pattern to the game now. If China have control of the ball, Japan just simply aren't in the match. But as soon as Japan break China's first pass down, that means they can isolate the hitters and they're getting into the sets. And the challenge is excellent. That's a really good call from China. And I'm pretty sure it was Lang Ping that said, let's have a look at this one. Nice serve. Nakada looks on. Work again at the net for Japan. Nice recovery from the disappointment of losing that last point. Perfectly legitimate to play the ball like this. What you mustn't do is throw the ball. So you can tip it into play like that. That's good effort to beat Lin Lee. So the new libero on court for China. they are brought on to pass. And she's passed it well, but Japan's still in the rally. Superb again from Zuting. You just know when it's being set up for Zuting. Look at that. The athleticism, 89.9 kilometers an hour. Not the fastest we've seen, but deadly and accurate. China on the serve. Touch from Lin Lee. Just couldn't quite bring it back into play, the captain Ju Ting. So China have made a change at Libero. I thought we might just see a half and half with Meng Xi still on to defend, but she's lost her place on court. And Lin Lee, who's pushing to be the regular starting Libero for China, is out on the floor now in that different coloured shirt to denote the defensive specialist. Good turn. Nicely spotted by Yuan. They spotted the space at the back. Nice and free and easy. 13-9, China leading in this second set. Yuan on the serve for China. Brilliant. And there's the value of having a left-handed setter because when the ball goes tight to the net like that, they can spike it if they want to. A little bit lucky for China, though, to set up the chance in the first place. Good feed from Zhu, and Ding thinks this time, do you know what? I'll just get the job done myself. back in the front line, Iwasaka. Only contributed two points so far. Back to that first service rotation for the Chinese team. So Ding Jia at the baseline. Dig from the Chinese setter. And now runs the play on the reverse. And that's it, point over. Gong has been very impressive in this game so far. It's another point down. A six point lead at the second technical timeout.
So she's been influential. Zhu Ting, of course, nine points now on the board, eight attacks and one block. The difference she makes well, when she's in the setup that she's in, Simon, for China is absolutely huge. Yeah, China's problem comes when they play against the taller units, the taller teams, and that's when Zhu Ting finds that she gets overloaded in that wing spiker position. But against a team where she can reach over the top of the block for a lot of these hits, then uh, she is absolutely running riot. Such a great player, such a, an enjoyable player to watch. Not just because of what she brings to the match in terms of her skills, but just seems to enjoy playing the sport. Seems to love being out there on the floor. But uh, any coach on the VNL would have Zhu Ting in their lineup. Good shot coming in off the wing, Nabea. So once again, Seiki trying to vary the angles for the wing spikers to open a little bit of space up for them at the net. Still no signs of any major changes to this Japanese lineup. Overpass, dispatched. Osaka getting a shout out by the stadium announcer for the work that she's doing. But China leading by four, 16-12. Well, Kuroga, unfortunately, from Japan's point of view, with the miss. They know, though, how tough they have to serve. They have to keep pushing really hard from the service line. So we will get errors from Japan. Oh, that timing is just exquisite. So as that ball touched the hands of Ding, Ju was beginning her spike approach. And everything just ended up in the right place at the right time. That level of consistency, level of understanding between the Chinese team at the moment that has them with a six point advantage on this technical timeout. Or timeout, excuse me, they're leading by six. Yeah, last throw of the dice from Nakada, the Japanese coach. But an, another coach that doesn't take a central role every time in the timeout. Just like Lang Ping will sometimes just stand back and let the players sort things out between them. Kabat has been brilliant. Absolutely fantastic in defense for this Japanese team. Lee Libero. Good pass from Nabea. Not a great set from Seiki, so another chance for China. Tidied up. Brilliant. Kabata again. Oh, sensational from Japan. That was fantastic play. Classic Japan. The bear with the kill, but plenty going on before that. Really good support for the Japanese spikers from the defenders behind them. And once again, it's, oh, it's such a frustrating element to the game for coaches and players. Built up all that momentum from a fantastic rally and then a serve into the net. So Yan of China serves. Oof. Good work. Nabea deliberately turning that off the hands and out of court. Well, it's gone down as a monster block, which the Japanese players have found quite amusing. Because it's not gone anywhere near the court. More in hope, I think, from the DJ here in Hong Kong. Osunai comes in. Very impressive player. He's Mawako Osunai, just 21 years of age, plays for the Hitachi Rivali Club. Still doesn't have double figures in that cap, so very, very inexperienced, but been given a chance here. Yuan, though, with another kill for China. Oh, 
It's a double substitution. So Osanai on in the opposite position at the net. And the backup setter, Miyasato, that we featured at the top of the show. 29 years of age, very experienced uh, teammate at Hitachi Rivali. Great swing. Great swing from Osanai. And a lovely set as well from Miyasato. Now, this is a tactical decision, Catherine, from uh, the coach Nakala in the Japanese camp. But if it works, she may decide to start these two players in set three. Nice run around from Yuan. Didn't quite get the set arriving where she wanted it, but still switched on enough just to tip it into space. So Zhang with the serve for China. Four points away from a second set victory. Well, that didn't work. Me and Asato just running straight in front of the player that was about to pass the ball. So China get a bit of a cheap ace there. There we go. Run right in front of Osanite. Completely blocked her view of the ball. Super set from Osanai, though, getting uh, from Sato, sorry, getting really high at the net. Feeding Kuroga wide. I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, Miyasato at least starting the next set for Japan. So back to that pattern that we were discussing earlier. China with control of the ball, virtually unstoppable. Again, running that combination, blockers just didn't quite know what was happening there. So Yuan with the serve, China two points away from a second set victory. Japan are trying to hang in this one. So substitution reversed, Osanai comes off, Seiki comes back in, so that means they flip the rotation back again, and Nabea comes back on. And that essentially means that Japan will play six rotations with their attacking players in the front row and their playmaker in the backcourt. The touch Kabata, very calm in defence. Free net, no, great recovery. And superb from Japan, Iwasaka with the kill. So Seki to serve. Decent lineup in the front court for the team in red, but can't stop that. Yanni. One meter 92 tall, about uh, six feet three. Touches 317 on the spike and puts it away for set points. So Ding with the serve. One more point, they take a two set to nothing lead. Of course, Kabata's there for Japan. Great swing, great swing. Kabata was there, but couldn't stop that. With a few players still in reserve, China. They are now coasting in this match. And Japan need to think seriously about what they're going to do in set three. Because at the moment, they just can't stop Yuan and Zhu and Gong. Great overhead view. Well, it was two points that China won the first set by. Now it's seven in the second and even the work of Japan's number 14 the libero Kabata which has been absolutely phenomenal has her side two sets to nil down and China looking to continue the sweep of three set to nothing wins just like they had in week number two so many highlights so far here from the Hong Kong Coliseum from what has been a wonderful match between China and Japan Super stuff in the first set and more in the second.
So China taking that one, 25-18. Japan offering a decent threat in terms of their side-out game, but as you can see, a big fat donut against the blocks. That is not going to help them. They cannot stop the Chinese attackers, and they're not scoring anything at the net. They're scoring very little as well on direct serves, and as soon as that happens, it's a problem. Catherine, I, I think that this is one of the best libero performances we've seen so far this season. Maybe not in service reception, but in defence, some unbelievable touches. And she just has that mindset, Kabata, that not one single ball is going to hit the floor without her getting a hand on it. And then if she can get a hand on it, maybe, maybe it'll come back into play and make play on. And it's having that kind of determination and that kind of aggression in the back line from players like Kabata that will keep teams like Japan in matches. She's been absolutely sensational so far today. So Japan serve, China two sets up against them. Looking for that 3-0 whitewash that I've mentioned. But Seki will go back onto the serving line for Japan after picking up the first point of this third set. Shame from Japan's point of view. China, though, picking up a rather lucky side out. It's rare to see Japan lose a game against any team in the world 3-0. They've usually got enough in the tank to get something out of a match. And they're just going to keep coming at China here. In the Bay with the score. Well, it hasn't happened, has it, Simon, this VNL season? The two matches they lost in week one to the USA and Belgium, they did win a set. So they haven't had any 3-0 whitewashes, as it were. Fizzing set from Ding, but Japan wise to it. China, though, have control of the ball again. Nice shot. That's real quality. Taking the ball high, not overhitting it, just hitting it hard and deep. And another player on court for Japan to uh, have to deal with. This is Ju Ting, the captain, putting the ball away. But not great news for uh, Japan because the number 12 has now come out onto court. Li Ying Ying, best scorer on the VNL for China last year. Decent start here, though, for Japan. Mabaya. Still down there and working hard. They will never give up this Japanese side. Japan serve. Iwasaka. Oof. Good defence once again. And again from China. Libero sets it up. Oh, another one of these special rallies that we have. At this level of volleyball, still. Oh, oh. Dear. Well, that was wonderful. That was great play from both teams. And the Chinese uh, substitutes demanding a monster block, and they finally get it called. <laughs> Super pickups from uh, Ding, the Chinese setter. And there we go, Li with the block. And the big left hander, number 12, Li Ying Ying. Didn't manage to put the first two balls away that she's been set, but got a great block there. Whoa, super quick through the wing. Well, Koga on 10 points for Japan now. That makes it 11. The highest scorer in her team, just one point ahead of Nebea. Touch China, just drawn into that net touch, and uh, might have been the number 12 as well, the new player on court, Li Ying Ying. Coming a great start for her, and that's the danger that you have when you make substitutions. You can unsettle a lineup. There you go, elbow into the net. Well spotted by the official. Well, Japan keep doing that. They certainly keep missing serves especially after big points. And it's a lead they will 
not want to relinquish in this third set. China serve. Oh, good block by China. Just wide, Koga asking for the touch, but more in hope than anything. Decent pickup in the middle there from uh, Li Yingying, 18 years of age, plays for the Tianjin province, the number 12 for China, 1 metre 92 tall. And generally speaking, Li comes on in the opposite position, so plays the right side of court, but Gong is occupying that position, so she's come on left side as a wing spiker. Nicely manoeuvred by Koga, making up for that last miss. So back to a one point advantage for Japan on their serve with Koga. Kogata hoovers it up. Oh, unlucky. And it is going to be Japan's point. Ding doesn't know it yet. That ball has to cross the net for Japan to be, uh, for uh, China to be able to play it. So I think we'll see a challenge here. And they're going to challenge on whether this ball had gone uh, over the net and forced a net touch of Ding. They can't ask the referee to have a look at whether it was actually in Japan court space. All they can say is, let's have a little touch. Look here. So Ding, I think, thinks this call is for a net touch, and that's what the challenge is for. I'm pretty sure I saw the referee signal with his hand over the net, which indicates that he thinks China played this on Japan's side of the net, which you can't challenge about. Wait to find out. Lalo Schifrin wrote this, you know, Hello. this theme tune, back in 67. It was a good year, 67. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't know, would no. you? This is quite a big call here. Now, here's the. Now, she's definitely played that over the net in, Jap in Japan's uh, court space. There is no net fault, though. Now, I think we might see this go China's way. And if it does, Japan can feel a little aggrieved there. You see, Nakada is not sure about this at all, so she's quite rightly saying that therefore should be a let if the referee's signal was that that was played in Japan's airspace. Only the captain can talk to the officials. They can't talk to them too much. And they certainly can't be rude, but Xu Ting is allowed to go over and ask for clarification as the skipper. Once in a while, this happens. Once in a while, this happens. China have just reviewed something, which they're perfectly welcome to review, but it wasn't actually the decision of the referee. They actually reviewed something completely independent. So, bit of a mix-up. And the referee now explaining what the decision was for. I have to say, the officials have got this one right. So we've not quite reached the uh, decision as smoothly as could have been reached, but they've got the decision right. That is definitely Japan's point, regardless of the fact that there was no net touch by China. Now the second official will just make absolutely sure that everything's recorded correctly. And that the score will be recorded in favour of Japan, and Japan have a two-point lead. Well done to the officials for standing their ground there. Exactly. That one was completely yes. legal for Kuroga to play. It's always the way, isn't it? That after a decision like that, the very next point is similar. Japan back in this. In 
indeed they are. The first technical timeout of this third set. Three-point advantage for the Japanese after that short interlude. Well, the point was finally awarded to Japan. Kumi Nakada, like you say, Simon, just had a couple of words and walked away. Well, Lang Ping has stayed with the team, but uh, An Jia Ji, the assistant coach, has been sent off on the reconnaissance to go and talk to the second official. Point's gone. So, in a reminder, it's a big set this for the Japanese. China leading two sets to one. Yuan, number one best for China. 11 points, nine on the attack, one block and one serve. A couple of the Chinese players now in double figures. Yuan, of course, and Zhu Ting as well. So, looking to get the rhythm back, the Chinese team here. And make some headway into closing this match down. Three sets to love, but Japan on the serve. Oof. Great slide D from Yuan. They've mixed it up nicely between quick sets in front and those quicker sets on the reverse. And that's, again, another way past the block. Gosh, she needed her glasses on here, didn't she, Nabea? So China on the serve. New player on court leave with that serve. And just not enough pressure. So once again, Japan have control of the ball and that means they can attack with freedom. Communication is non-stop. Now and then I'm sure you can hear it on the court side microphones, but the player's talking all the time. Close. Referee says it's in. China will have to challenge if they don't agree. And remember, China have lost a challenge already in this set. They are pretty confident this was out. But if they're wrong, they won't have any more challenges for the rest of this set, which could actually be a tricky situation for them in the back end. That has just clipped the line. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Millimeters in it, and China have no challenges left. That's it, the two you're allowed in a set. They're not successful. And Simon says they're gone. So, Japan on the serve. Kutagawa. Oh. Complete change in momentum now in this game. Well, I said Japan were the masters at coming back, even from 2-0 down. And it looks to me like they've started the comeback work immediately. Well, you knew that was a good fake play by the setter because the middle blocker thought she was going to get that ball and actually took a semi-swing at that. So Lang Ping, just a few words, nice normal level. Zhu Ting, straight in. <laughs> we need to get this done. Laying the law down. <laughs> uh, teamwork makes the dream work. That's what we say in sport, isn't it? So Japan on the serve. Five points ahead in his third set, 11-6. Oh, towering hit, but it's coming back. Brilliant from Japan again. Chase down. It's going to be a free ball, Japan. Still can win this point. Lee wide to her captain and finally put away. And our second defensive pickup off the foot by Japan in this match. Mega rally. Japan contributing a huge amount to that one as well, and they were a little unlucky in the end not to win it. That is a huge hit. Look at that pickup from Akuta Gawa. A couple of decent defensive plays as well from China to keep them in it. 
until at last. Xu Ting reaching high enough to go over the Japanese block. She's brilliant. She's such a great captain. China serve, four points down. Oh, huge. If you can hit the ball inside the three metre line, that is just world class. A super spike from the Chinese captain, Zhu. And look at that, not even reacting, just another day at the office. That is a massive hit. Seiki, though, keeps the scoreboard ticking over. Nice work from the Japanese setter. Japan have got a few problems here because China have just clicked back into rhythm. Once again, the service reception looks a bit stronger. Siding out with ease at the moment, and they've got a good lineup off the back here of Ding, Ning's, uh, Ding Zhao's serve. Another huge hit inside the three meter line. Oh, she's nailed it. Shot of uh, Zhang Chin Lei in the number eight shirt watching on. She was the captain over the first couple of weeks for China, but now Ju back and installed as the boss. Lovely shot inside, but really great read. And interestingly, those combination attacks Japan will use against all the other teams on the VNL, but against China, they're reluctant to use them because the Chinese block knows what's going to happen. And they were just waiting there for a Kutagawa and for Nabea. Nakada calling a timeout, and understandably so. China have pulled this one back now to just one point behind the Japanese. We mentioned at the top, didn't we, before the first serve, Simon? China strong at the back, but at the net, absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, really well organized in terms of their block, so they are stopping this Japanese attack on a regular basis. But once they have control of the ball, it's the service reception to the setter ding. Once they have that control, then they are just running offense with such freedom. And Japan, well, sometimes in the attack, they might as well not be at the net. The pick up from Lee. Oh, and a third huge hit in a row from Zhu Ting. And Zhu Ting has brought China back into this third set. So not the hardest height spike she'll hit, but so accurate. She's taking that right over the top of the Japanese block. Something of a rarity. A kill block from Japan. The bear it is with a shutdown. Hong Kong. Monster block. First time it's been played for Japan in this match, I think. Always kept in by the Ribeiro. Another super rally. Oh dear, net touch, I'm afraid. And that'll be against number 25, Nanami Seiki. It's really tricky when you're the penetrating setter, so you're running in from the back court. You have to run in, stop yourself at the net, and then jump and play. And it's quite easy to let your momentum take you into the net. Now, Japan are going to ask the video official to look at this one. And it might go for a counter challenge here, but they haven't got any challenges left. And Lang Ping knows it. 
afraid it's a case of on we go. So we continue in the third set. Japan on the serve. Oh dear me, that's a tough one to take for Kuroga, the Japanese team, but particularly for coach Nakada. Koga works it through the block. Well, not the tallest Koroga, 180 centimetres tall. Well, the last thing that China need right now is for their service reception to break down again and give Japan a flurry of points. serve lovely pass from Lee and a net touch this time from Japan spotted by the officials just a little over eager on the block a challenge from Japan this time we'll have another natural break in a moment for the second technical timeout what Japan really have to do here is to get to that technical timeout at 16-14. They've got to win this point. Oh, and they do, eventually. Scrappy point purely and simply because China just wouldn't let the ball pass at the net. Yeah, net touch from Lee for good measure, but Japan just stuck to the task there to finally get it across the line. Well, they are sticking to the task and have that two point advantage in this third set. We expected it to be a close battle, we both having won four matches so far on the VNL. Zooting, more words of encouragement from Captain Fantastic. And what a wonderful captain she is, it's not just what she does in that role as skipper, but it's the fact that she delivers game after game after game, leading the scoring stats at the moment for this whole match. but it's when she scores her points on the really big points, she will come up with the goods. And that takes a special player to be able to do that. That's why she's such a superstar in China. She is, and in Turkey as well, where she plays her volleyball. She's got four sisters, I wonder how good they are at volleyball. It's a frightening thought. Well, we could pick up on Lee has not had a great time of it since she's been on the floor, but a little change up on the set from Ding just goes on the reverse to Gong, who again cleverly finds the space. That was the big hit from Lee, but Kabata all over it. And then the variation, good enough to beat Karoga. China are level in the business end of set three, and Japan are going to find it really tough from here. I think we're going to see Koga taken off the floor. She's not moving particularly well, Serena Koga. They've got Yuki Ishii on the bench that they could bring in here. They serve from China. Timeout called by Kumi Nakada. And Japan now under the hammer here.
So the hand signals are made. Huan by the net, poised and ready. China with a one-point advantage in this third set, looking to close out this, their first match of week number three. But Japan are just not going to go quietly. No, not in their nature, not how they play volleyball. And the mindset of the Japanese players will be, we've got another hour and a half out on court here if we're going to win this. China want this done in three. They want to send a message out. That will be four three-nil wins in a row for China on the VNL. Finally, a kill for Li Yingying. She's been struggling a bit to put the ball away. She's had one block. She's managed to put the ball away in open play. Now Zheng comes in. So number eight, former Chinese captain, or stands in for Zhu Ting, shall we say, when Zhu Ting is not available. 29-year-olds from the uh, Beijing Motor Club. And Li picking the right moment to have a purple patch here. Lang Ping, the Chinese coach, has a fantastic talent identification program. She goes to basketball, swimming, rowing, and just looks around the athletes. And you know, for athletes that may be feeling they're not going to make it in that sport, offers them a chance to come and try volleyball. And Lee, one of those athletes that has come through that particular program. The change-up also, sorry, Catherine, the change-up also involves uh, Yao as the replacement setter, so double substitution for China. And this is a massive chance for Japan to take this into a fourth set. Kutagawa with the serve, 19 apiece. Couldn't be any closer in this third set. Brilliant defence from Nabea. China, though, go again. Oh, that's a bit lucky from the Chinese players, but Japan get the ball. This time, surely. No, 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 over on two, easy read. Great touch from Lee. Oh, that's sensational. Well, unfortunately, you cannot give Zhu Ting a second bite of the cherry and a mega rally finished by another crunching spike. A couple of fabulous pickups in there. That from Lee, but it wasn't the only pickup she made, the defensive specialist for China the second of them and that of course allowed Xu Ting to have another go she was only too happy to accept the invitation and once again another key point another big hit she's found the target one point advantage oh, and could do with a good serve now 13 points in this match Five points away from victory in their first match of week number three of China. Oh, no. She's had such a great game, Kabata. Well, you said it, Catherine. Good serve required from Yuan, and that was a belter. So Lang Ping will be saying more of the same, please. Juan on this serve, four points needed. It's not going to be another race. It's going to be one that China have to defend, and they're doing so wonderfully well. Oh, it's out from Kurogo. And if it didn't touch the block, which uh, Chung is saying it definitely didn't, 
and a golden opportunity once ago again goes begging for Japan but I'm not surprised to see uh, a challenge here but Chung just reassuring her teammates that this is clear of the court and clear of the block Japan though with no other options they need to slow the game down what does Hawkeye say it is wide I'm afraid China's point Japan lose the challenge so oh, Japan on the verge of losing this match here with China with a three-point advantage on the serve Oof. heavy hitting from Kuroga great defense from China to extend the point but Japan not done yet Setter Yao just missing the defensive play. But now in offense, goes wide to the captain, who does the rest. It's a familiar story where Zhu Ting is concerned. China two points away from Max vi match victory. Trying to keep it alive. Net touch again from Japan. Oh, what a shame. Really good rally developing there. But impressed with Jong Chin Lei. I think she's come on. There it is. That's a little tweak on the net, I'm afraid, from Nabea. So no challenge from Japan. Serve. Match point. Oh, well. Yeah, nicely hit by Nabea, just guiding it into the space in the back line. But now they've got to find three points on their own serve. China need just one successful attack. And there it is. There it is, indeed. China continue the run that they are on in this VNL, their fifth victory in a row. And once again, in three straight sets, they pick up maximum points and dispose of Japan. Too strong in all the positions around the court. There were some flashes of brilliance, weren't there, from Japan? But you put this Chinese team together and the Olympic champions, well, they have that gold medal for a reason. And Lang Pin side continue on the wonderful role that they're on. Yeah, Japan played well, but just were not at the races. Once China had control of the ball, it was very difficult for Japan to stop them at the net. But uh, I think Lang Ping will have some concerns about that Chinese first pass because on a couple of occasions they capitulated the other teams in the pool this week, Italy and the Netherlands, will be watching on with great interest and will feel that maybe their services can break this Chinese team down. But uh, another 3-0 win. Four in a row for them now, 25-21 in that final set. And uh, overall, a convincing performance from the home team. So China will go on to play the Netherlands tomorrow who suffered defeat at the hands of Italy earlier. And Japan will take on the Italian side. But let's look back at some of the highlights of what was a hotly contested match, as expected, between China and Japan.
Well, in the end, China just too good. And remember, this is a, a win, a 3-0 win against a team that has beaten Russia, Serbia and Turkey so far this season. But Japan, no match today. As you can see, relatively evenly balanced on attacks. But Japan, just no match at all for China at the net. Only the two blocks. And not enough service pressure. Five serves, too many errors. And that's where Japan just gave the impetus to China. But China did look way too good today. So that's what's coming up tomorrow. Italy versus Japan and the Netherlands versus China. Day two of week three in this Pool 9 group. So much to look forward to tomorrow. And, of course, on Thursday, Japan-Netherlands, the penultimate match of Pool number 9. So let's look at the standings then of the 16 teams. Turkey, Italy, USA and China. Remember, they get that pass to the finals in the first week of, in China because they're the host nation. Poland still playing well in fifth position. And Japan need to pick up a little bit to get into the top five and join China in those finals. And for the Netherlands, well, that defeat earlier by Italy still has them just on those two wins so far in the VNL. As we just start here today, week number three. So a wonderful first day of action, wins for Italy and China here at the Hong Kong Coliseum. But from myself, Catherine Merry and Simon Golding, thanks for being part of the game.